guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make zucchini fritters, also known in Greek as kolokitha keftedes. Say that three, four times fast and see what happens. Anyway, so um, zucchini is in season right now. We have so much growing in our backyard, I really don't know what to do with it. I love it, so I love to make these little uh, appetizers. They're delicious. They're one of my favorite things to eat when I go to Greece. So let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. I have some uh, grated zucchini over here um, that I've grated on, on a box grater. Let me get the grater so I can show you what I used. So I just used a basic box grater and I grated it on this side, the bigger grate. And it's important that after you grate zucchini, it releases a lot of water and you don't want that water in your fritters because first of all, they're going to be watery and they're not going to stick together. And second, they're going to pop all over the place in your frying pan and you're going to have a big hot mess on your hands. So look how much liquid gets released. You want to make sure to let it strain um, or drain for about 30 minutes or more, so at least 30 minutes and up to an hour, an hour and a half, doesn't matter, the longer you let it strain, the better. And then we're going to even squeeze the rest of the moisture out once we're ready to make these and I'll show you how we're going to do that after I show you the rest of the ingredients. We have some eggs that I've beaten, panko breadcrumbs. If you can find panko breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs are just more coarse, crunchy, Japanese style breadcrumb. Use regular breadcrumbs, that's fine. We have. Um, freshly ground black pepper, of course crushed red pepper flakes, a little bit of salt because I've, I've already sprinkled my zucchini with salt so that way the, it can draw out most of the moisture. I've crumbled the doni spetta, my favorite, some uh, finely sliced uh, scallions and mint. Mint is going to freshen this up and just make it really extra yummy. Okay, so what we do, even though a lot of the liquid has already been drained out, when we're going to add it to our mixing bowl, you want to squeeze as much of the, of the remaining liquid out as, that you can. Don't go crazy now. Don't mush, squeeze it so much that you, know, you mush it all up and it's you know, all messed up. Just squeeze most of the moisture out. It comes out really easy. All right, so we have our zucchini in here. And now we're just going to basically put all the rest of these ingredients. We'll put the feta and the scallions. Mm, it smells so good. Scallions and just mint is such a fresh ingredient. Just a little bit goes a long way. It's really nice, especially when you're putting mint in something that's uh, going to be fried. It really lightens it up. This is pretty light other than the fact that we are frying them. There's just a little bit of feta cheese. Everything else is super, super light and healthy in here. Make sure you beat the eggs up. Put those in here also. And you can get all of the exact measurements and the whole written recipe that you can like print out and everything on my website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Okay, so this is well combined. Now we're just going to add all of these dry ingredients, mix them all up, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so while I'm combining these, I'm going to heat my olive oil in my frying pan. And I'm going to be serving these a little bit later on, so I'm just going to fry a few of these up just so I could show you. And then I'm going to serve the rest of my guests. So let me put my olive oil in here in my frying pan. Let it heat up and get really, really nice and hot. And these are going to cook up really quickly. They just take about six to seven minutes once you form them and you put them in the frying pan. They're that quick. So you can make this ahead of time and then fry them up right before your guests come. Or if you want to fry them like an hour before your guests come, do that and then lay them out in a, in a baking pan after you're, they're done straining and keep them, like reheat them in a, in a warm oven, like a 225 or 250 degree oven. All right, so I have a plate lined with paper towels so that way you can, you know, catch all the grease and I'm just going to form these into little balls and then flatten them out like that and put them in here and they're really going to cook for about three minutes on each side until they're going to be nice and golden. So I'll cook these five first and I'll show you what they look like as soon as they're done. 
So after like three minutes, I'm just gonna flip them over and cook them on the other side as well. Okay, so they're done. They literally took about six, seven minutes. I'm gonna put them on my plate that's lined with paper towel just so some of the oil can drain. That's what they look like. I just made a few. This makes it a nice big batch. I don't have tzatziki, but I do have some Greek yogurt and mint, and that's going to be really yummy for dipping. I can drizzle some olive oil and sprinkle some dried dill on top of this, and it's just going to be delicious. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Don't want to burn myself. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Look at that zucchini. You can see pieces of cheese in there. This is going to be so yummy. It smells super duper delicious. I'm just going to place these on my... Actually, I'm going to let them drain a little more. Go on my website. Get the recipes. www.demetrasdishes.com. Demetrasdishes.com. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.